What's up, y'all? So recently, Sukiana did an interview with Armand Wiggins, and she spoke a lot about the things that she does and the person that she is. And baby, Sukiana is freaky, ratchet, and proud, okay? She said a lot of things um, pertaining to her playing with herself and, um, you know, having SEX with the, you know, man and preferably her man you know she's only a freak to her man and or herself um but i just want to hear excuse me i just want y'all to hear her speak about her playing with herself and she loves piss <laughs> roll it so let me ask you this because because you are colorful and sexually li liberated um like even right now you're going viral on um twitter for a released only fans that you are playing with yourself mm -hmm. and it, 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 it's apparently a hundred percent piss is what people are saying. Yep, it was a hundred percent piss. I love piss. Okay. I and, love to pee on myself. Okay. And some of the comments are really dis disgusting. Well, no, the thing is I'm a disgusting person. So okay. it's just like people been knew that about me. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can keep posting my only fans videos. I mean, I don't do only fans no more. But what do you I, say to them that say she's a terrible representation for black women? I Stop tell, posting her. She's disgusting. I feel like when they say disgusting, they're not fucking lying. I feel like the people, ain't, if you, whatever you heard about me is the truth. Uh -huh. I don't give a fuck. You know how you break all barriers? Mm -hmm. You break them by telling them everything. Yeah. So now that I told you everything, there's no exposing. Like, it is, it is what it is, bitch. I did OnlyFans during the pandemic. We were all fucked up. Some of y'all was sucking dick. For free and still handle food in your fridge. And I'm not judging because I done been there. We all. So Krishan Rock speaks about basically being over blue face. But not only did she speak about that, she spoke specifically on saying the next nigga that pop out, she going to be married to. OK, she love her space. She love her peace. I think she's a goddamn liar. <laughs> now, here's my thing. I'm a Krishan Rock fan that she's one of my faves, but she like to play every time. You know what I'm saying? She play a lot. Every chance she get blue face be popping up and he be pulling up at the house. And she think people don't know, but they take a picture of him being at the house. Now, Kiki Palmer's baby father speaks about his insecurities on their podcast. And, you know, for us, even for, even for you, like. How did you feel when we first were like, okay, we're going to be a little bit public about a relationship? Yeah. Um, at first, it definitely was hard uh, because it could all be very overwhelming. It was definitely overwhelming and intense at first. And, it was. And it's, and it's like you almost feel that pressure of needing to just be perfect. And so it conf yeah. it really confused me and infiltrated my mind because not only I had to hold myself to that perfect standard, I was also holding you to a perfect standard as well. So any moment of flaw on my side or on your side, it was World War Three because it's like, man, you know, I'm, we're and not the perfect. the world sees us. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So JT dropped her new song, No Bars, and Nicki Minaj and her went live and they spoke about it. Just listen to what they have to say. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me see. Is it, is it working? Hello? 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 May I speak to Jay Tavia? It's me. Oh, hi. Yes. Um, My name is Onika Tanya. I know the face, I know the name. What's your no, name? Did you uh, the wig? I wanted to know, may we, may I ask you some questions? Anything. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so, Jay Tavia. Yes, ma'am. Why are you black like that on that song? I black like that on this that song because like that's what I do for real. I don't know if I be having it tucked in, but like that's what I do. Like it's up, Nikki, for real. It's up. It's up. And that was like a song from so we finna yeah, what? It's it's so, it's, it's about to get So at what point did you officially know you was that bitch? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when I, okay. When I sent you no bars, wait. When I sent you no bars, right? I don't even know what made me send you no bars because at the time we wasn't even like tight. Like we had just got like 
And I sent you no bars just to get your honest opinion. And you text back like, whoa. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. the world got to hear you like this. And I'm like, mm -hmm. shook. Like, oh, my God, did he say my song sound good? So, yeah, that was one of the times I feel like I'm a bad bitch. And I just appreciate you. So... We want to first, you know, highlight certain le certain lines, um, like got bitches tanning to get this dark skin. Bravo, 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 tans across the board. And then we want to also say, uh, did you, you always love your natural, beautiful lips? Yes, I did. And you want to know something? In school, like, okay, because in school, back then, it wasn't cute to have big lips when I was growing up at first. You know, they used to call, I don't know if y'all know this, the um, 99 Gem, it was a DJ called Big Lip Bandit. And people used to call me Big Lip Bandit at first in, like, in elementary and make fun of me about my lips and shit. You might know, be like, oh, Big Lip Bandit. But now it's a thing. And yeah, they still here. And you know what a lot of people say about me? I don't know why um they say that about me because like if you do like if i do like this my nose still like everything about me still move around but they'll be like oh <laughs> she oh, already laughing but they'll say that i got face surgery and i that didn't lie. like and i'm like oh that is a lie i'm gonna bit the hell yes because i be like, I, like it's like my face but um i i like my features are very popular now i don't know if they was like popular back then that's what i was getting at with that conversation like my features are popular now but they weren't always popular when i was growing up right so, right <laughs> exactly and uh and like i said she is in person beautiful Oh, and that's the truth. So let me ask you something, JT. Do you be throwing that ass back? Nikki, my man, I'm not going to lie. Hello. Okay, do I be throwing? Okay, this ring right here on my finger. Uh huh. It's like uh, a whole bunch of money from Elliot. It's a pink diamond. Courtesy of my man. So, do I be throwing it back? Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my watch, too. Oh. I be throwing it back. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, what you, what you, um, what kind of, did you give Uzi some extra special good sex after you heard Endless Fashion or, or not? Nikki. Um, he deserved it. After I heard, I, oh, um, um, <laughs> he, um <laughs> like, I, I mean, I'm not trying to put my business out that way. Uh, That's a sad. He always gets that, but you know, he be so focused on his music. After Any Fest came out, I'm not gonna lie, before Any Fest came out, yes, because after he was overseas, he, he went straight overseas, um, when his album dropped. So I was working, he was working, and we, um, saw each other in Europe. We got together in Europe once both of us was like, Well, when y'all saw each other in Europe, yeah, when we saw each other. did you make sure he <laughs> found the love? Chanel. Child, when we saw each other in Europe, you need to talk to him because he's crazy. But I had just cussed his ass out a couple. Oh, you don't tell me I got cussed his ass out. Okay, because I had cussed his ass out two weeks ago. Um, But What's that? But listen, anyway, no bars. No bars is out now. Mm -hmm. JT is not only beautiful, but she's talented. And, and you know, we stamping it, you know what I'm saying, off the rip. Thank you, thank you. This now, this is a stamp. Oh my God, Chanel is so funny. She the background for some stamp, stamp. <laughs> it's a motherfucking stamp. That, you know what I'm saying because it's important that. <laughs> Wait, why somebody said, "LOL"? Nikki is just a is just a ceiling and a and a voice. What? <laughs> 
I know. Because I don't want y'all looking at me right now. I was doing something. Once Nikki get off this live, y'all. She go up. And, and we're going to um, pray that Nikki even breathes on no bars. I'm going to pray. And then I'm going to go eat and and oh, what you celebrate. What you about to eat? The fact that you didn't even think about it, thinking about me, and you could have even sent me a little box of... I always think about you because you love food and you love like the same type of food that I love. But you know, like, I like to, you, you was working today and you told me that you was shit. She hung up on me on my phone. Hung up. Okay. Well, bye, y'all. I'm going to see y'all.